Amongst the pomp and ceremony of a wedding, all eyes are on the bride. But to create the perfect outfit, the jewellery can be even more important than the dress. Back in the day, a lot of emphasis was put on it being real gold jewellery that the bride would wear. As times has evolved, dresses have evolved, and now the jewellery's then evolved with that as well. And now, commonly, it's artificial jewellery that's used by brides because it complements the dress better. These earrings here, um, these are very traditional. They're called jumkas. So I'll show you one of the earrings that I've designed. I felt there was a gap in the marketplace for Asian jewellery. This just clips into your hair. So I actually started off making prom dresses and then it led to this. <laughs> With a client base crammed full of brides-to-be, Shazma designs everything from tickers, earrings and bangles. Beads are very in fashion. To the biggest, blingiest necklaces you have ever seen. Right now, the trend is a lot of um, brides are um, layering up on their jewellery, so they have like a choker necklace um, and a longer um, necklace. And the nose ring is now coming back in fashion as well. Hello, how are you? You all okay, right? how are you? I'm good. Back in the days, everybody used to wear Asian gold, um, and it's this yellow gold stuff. It's the very, very expensive stuff, and if you didn't wear it, it was just seen as, you know, why is she not wearing gold on her wedding day? But now we've just come away from that because it doesn't match your outfit. It, it just looks really yellow. With our jewellery, what we do, it's plated in different shades, so you could get, like, a darker gold or a lighter gold. The stones can also be customised. I actually feel like I'm bright already. <laughs> 99% of the time, they don't have their outfit with them because the outfit takes about a year to make. Have you got your wedding outfit yet? Um, no, but no. I've designed it and I've sent pictures. Okay. I, I keep getting sent pictures of the embroidery. So I need to basically work with the images that they have. So that's it there. Oh, that's lovely. Right, okay. Other times I'll need to work with like a swatch of embroidery. A lot of detail there. <laughs> But while the modern bride tends to be a big fan... That's lovely. It's so nice. It's so nice. The older generation sometimes struggle with the notion of gold-plated jewellery. There are people who are very cultured and they do expect their daughters or daughter-in-laws uh, to wear gold. But obviously the bride has something else in mind. Um, so yes, that can be a wee bit difficult, but it's just trying to convince them that you know, the jewellery that the daughters picked, it will look better. Take That's care. Cool. And send me pictures. I'm okay. Thank Take you. care then. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye.